What's going on my dudes? This is Mr. Gardner and this is Math Time with Today we're just going to review our quadratic equations and review for our future test. Quick vocab, zeros of a function, that just means what are the x-intercepts. So I have a graph, makes a parabola, where does it cross the x-axis? So completing the square is when we want to still factor, but the C term doesn't work. Line of symmetry is the equation negative B over 2A, and that is the very middle of our parabola. Where does it start going back up? Our discriminant is the equation plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and this is how many times do we cross the x-axis so it can cross 2 1 or 0 and our quadratic equation is just our line of symmetry and discriminant put together so when we solve by factoring, the first thing we have to do is get this equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. And then I get 2x squared minus 7x is equal to minus 15. So now I can factor and I get 2x plus 3 and x minus 5 is equal to zero. And we can do a quick double check and double distribute back and see if I get my original. Get back to my original equation, which means that this factoring is good. I'm gonna set each binomial equal to zero. And solve. It asks us to graph this thing. We could find the axis of symmetry and we could find the vertex, but for real quick, x is equal to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 1 and a half. And this c term is my y-intercept. So it's going to look something like that. Pleading the squares, this is the one where we don't want equal to 0. We want to take that c term and move it over. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. And now we have to find a new c term. And the way that we're going to find it is we're going to take our b term, divide it in half, and square it. So I have negative 16 over 2 squared. And what I get after solving that is 64. But I can't just add 64 just to one side. I have to do it to the other. So now that I have this, I can factor and then combine like terms over here. Then I can divide or square root both sides. And then I can move this A to the other side. So again, I would add these together and then subtract these together to find the two different X terms. I'm not feeling like I want to square them and I just want to go straight to the quadratic formula. I have to set this equal to zero. So I need to subtract this 5x to both sides. And then my equation again and I just plug in my numbers. There's no number in front of this x so it's 1. So I'm going to get now that I have it all plugged in I'm just going to multiply square root and simplify and I get the square root of 61 is bigger than 0 which means our discriminant is 2 or it's going to cross the x-axis twice. If it's equal to zero, it only crosses once, and if it's less than zero, it doesn't cross at all. My axis of symmetry is going to be this five over two. So it's going to be 2.25. And then the last bit is my x-intercepts, which is going to be five plus the square root of 61, divided by 2, and then 5 minus the square root of 61, 
divide by 2. And I get the two answers of negative 1.4 and 6.4. bit that I want to cover is how to rewrite radical expressions. So if I multiply the outside terms, I get 10. Then I multiply the inside terms, and I'm going to get 36. And then when I multiply with exponents, I add my exponents. And then, because there's no number here, we assume it's squared. I'm just going to write my combos. So 6 times 6, x squared, x squared, x1. These add up back to 5. These multiply back up to 36. There's a pair. There's a pair. Those get to come out. This doesn't have a pair, so it stays in. And then I multiply what's on the outside. All right, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section. Other than that, be kind to each other, ask lots of questions, and think deeply.